Hello! Many people ask me if these Neji lasers are good to make stamps, so let's make a try. First of all, prepare my Neji 2 laser engraver and a PC. I really like that laser because it's ready to use in a minute after we take out of box. And here I got special material for making stamps. It's some kind of rubber, size A4 sheet or 20 by 30 cm, about 2.3 mm thick. I buy it on eBay for about 10 bucks. Firstly I try with 30W laser model, but later make a test also with 20 and 40W laser to see if there's some difference. Connect the laser to power supply and the PC, secure the mat and we're ready. Firstly I just want to know how the rubber melt under the laser, so I just engrave my logo in grayscale type, so it won't work for a stamp because it have more than two dips. When we make stamp we need to choose one of first two options here in Neji software, so we got only two dips, engraved and not engraved. I choose grayscale to see how the rubber engraved depend to a laser power. For the first try I set laser power to 100% and burning time to 3 milliseconds. 50 minutes later I got finished engrave. There are a lot of dust over the stamp, but it's easy to remove with a brush. And there's what I got. Material is nicely engraved, darker area is deeper than lighter, because the material is nicely respond to a laser power. We can also cut the stamp out, but 30W laser is on the limit to perfect cut through in 3 passes. Let's try to make some real stamp now. When I import the image I choose first or second effect type into Neji software, so it make deep engrave. In that case I select first option, to engrave complete snowflakes, not only the line. But most important step is step 4. Here we reverse the image, so it will engrave background, not snowflake itself. And that's what we want for the stamp. This time I also tried to use air assist to blow the dust away. There was still a lot of dust, but the result of engrave was a bit better. Edge was engraved more clearly. After cleaning and cut out the stamp is ready to use. I make a simply 3D printed holder for the stamp, so just apply some double side tape and fix stamp to a holder. Then go to wife's workshop and take the stamp pad, but make sure she won't notice. First stamp is engraved in grayscale, so it got more depths. I try it anyway, and notice that the result is depend on how strong we push stamp on the paper. The more we push, more details will transfer to paper. Then I try also the other stamp, which worked perfectly with any color. Just slightly slip stamp over the color pad and stamp it. Then I try to make a small stamp with more details. During test I noticed that some stamps look very ugly when it's done. It's some kind of greasy dirt, but can be removed easily. After brushing I also wipe it with towel and alcohol. At this point I can also say that there is a lot of smell by melting rubber, and also a lot of smoke during engraving this stamp rubber. I simply leave the room during engrave, otherwise ventilation is a must. That stamp is about 15mm diameter, and it's too small to show all the details. There's one more important thing when engraving the stamps, especially the text. When you set up everything, don't forget to click flip button, so entire image or text will be mirrored, and when we make stamp on paper, it be turned on right way again. Because I only want to print letters, I click also reverse button, so it engrave complete background and leave only letters. I want to know how small details can be engraved, so I engraved text from 16 to 36 point size. There was a bit strange font, but every size is still visible quite good, I think. Then I tried to engrave some text, font Arial, size 10 to 22 point, with three different laser models. First one with 30W, second with 40 and third one with 20W laser model. We can instantly see the difference, on 30 and 20 watt one is much more dust than on one engraved with 40 watt laser. But when we clean the stamps I think the last one engraved with 20 watt model looked the best. But on end result there is no much difference, all the text is readable from 14 point text size and bigger. 
Also if there are not a big difference, I can say that the best stamp was made with 20 watt model, then with 40 watt and the worst result was made with 30 watt laser model. But differences was minimal, with different settings it may be different result. It's surprisingly that the end result on paper is quite equal, because if you look the stamp we can see that the one engraved with 20 watt model is much better than the other two. I also noticed that on end result depends a lot how precise we imprint it on paper, so I make one more try. This time I engraved same text with 20 watt laser model but slower, with only 50% laser power and 10 milliseconds burning time. Then go to wife's workshop for another piece of equipment. Here on back side we fix the paper with the magnets to stay on its position, and on front transparent side attach the stamp. When we set the position we want, simply add color to the stamp and imprint them. This time more precisely on perfect set at position, 100% perpendicular to the paper and so on. We can also add paint again to imprint one more time on the exact same spot. Look like a useful gadget. But still my end result wasn't much better, because I used black paint this time which bleed on shitty paper. But some difference is noticed. If I put stamp under the microscope you can clearly see each pixel. You see all these lines and pixels here. But if you look on the paper they aren't visible. Look like the paint bleed just enough on the paper to hide all these edges. Here you can see some tiny lines from a tree and the result on paper is great even if the lines are thinner from half a millimeter. More problem I got on big areas where some color is missing. That's about it for today. Making stamp with a laser engraver is piece of cake. We are limited with smallest size, but for a large user I think it's more than enough. If you need some major engraver or laser model check below in the video description for the links. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.